Our guest today is a candidate for mayor of Chicago. He was born in Louisiana and has lived in the Chicago area for 50 years. His bio states, and I quote, his journey be began with only 20 cents in his pocket and big dreams in his head. The bio goes on to state, and I quote, today his fortunes have turned to full 360 degrees. He has been penniless and stranded many times. And now he personally donates hundreds of thousands of dollars each year to small churches and community programs. Our guest today, the bio goes on, went on to become owner of five McDonald's. <clears throat> Number two, founder and producer of the first nationally syndicated African-American gospel entertainment program on commercial television, now in its 20th year. And number three, recently won an Emmy for his performance on Sing Station for Best Performing Artist in 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Willie Wilson. Doctor. <clears throat> Church, amen. amen. <laughs> well, first, let me uh, thank God for his uh, amazing grace and his unspeakable gift. And let me acknowledge um, all the pastors who's here and clergymen and uh, ladies and gentlemen, and especially the, the board of directors for allowing me to come here uh, today. And thank you for that wonderful introduction uh, to your chairman, your vice chairman, and all the board members, and all of the political people here. And I guess I just said it right. If I haven't, y'all forgive me, all right? <clears throat> we, um, my name is Dr. Willow Wilson, and um, I'm running for mayor of the city of Chicago. Yeah. <clears throat> I, um, I had a, speech written because I want to go with it, but I'm going to just go from the heart, all right? Like I always, always do. Uh, I won't change uh, unless it's for the, for the better, all right? Um, I decided to get involved with this uh, mayoral uh, race because I'd have had enough of what's been going on. Um, and we, we decided to get in it and do something about it without just sitting on the, on the sideline. My platform is based on economic empowerment and development, uh, education, public safety, equal opportunity, employment, and contract for all of those who do business with the city of Chicago. And I'm going to be frank that some of y'all haven't met, some of you met for the first time. Um, I want to speak open and honest. I'm uh, from Louisiana. We made 20 cents uh, per hour, and we ran away from home at 13. I'm two generations from slavery, and I haven't forgotten about it, and so I just refuse to, to bring it with me. Okay. Right. And, and, and so although we have a seventh grade education, and we call them, I guess one referred here as a BA, I don't have it in school and like the college and things like that. But my BA, as I say, in church is born again. Okay. And then we always will stay focused. And now, since I'm a little bit freer to say what I need to say with all respect, 
We used to be down south. We had to walk on different side of the, uh, the street. We had to go in the back uh, uh, door. And we had to have a um, certain washroom that we go in that says, you know, color and only in, in white and et cetera. Well, I live downtown now in Chicago. And I have a, a penthouse now. <laughs> and I don't have a shack no more, right? And what I do is this here, in my home, I have a reminder from which I came. We have the same picture there that says color and white only. We have the era of the civil rights era. So every time we walk in my home, it keeps me focused, right? I pledge to give my life to all citizens in America, in this particular case here in Chicago, we're running mayor. Doesn't matter what color you, you are to me. I'm not running because I'm, I'm black or African American or color or Negro. <laughs> I'm running, I'm the best human being for this job to get it done. All right? <clears throat> Last night was my first uh, debate, uh, basic per se, like except this. we had a few, but we got to it last night, and tonight we have another one on Channel 7. And I, I kind of enjoy it because the fact of it was that I could be myself and bring out some issues. One of the issues that we face with in this city is, 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 is you know, separate us is segregation. And that has to be work on and somebody can bring us together yes, sir. that have experience who went through it yeah. and, and still come out not being bitter. Not being bitter but like you know. And with the understanding that we all are human beings, child of God, yes, and we are put here to help one another. Yeah. We weren't made by Christ because of our color, of our skin. Right. And we all had to answer to him. And I won't ever forget him, but that's why you see me every, every night when I do these forms, these debates. At the end of those forms, I'm going to uh, say a prayer. Yeah. You know, we was taught to end whatever we've done with a prayer. Right. And I will continue this to, to go that route. Some of the things that concern me about in the city mm -hmm. of Chicago is this. Education is very important by me only having a seventh grade education, so it's very important to me <clears throat> that we make sure that every child, regardless of race, tree, or color, should have a good education, the best that this country and this city can offer. <clears throat> I'm not too for sure about, people tell me about the charter school. My comment is this, you should have a choice to do what you like to do. But I don't believe in leaving nobody behind. Now, some people say that I talk with a slur, and I do, and uh, that um, I only have a seventh grade education, and I do. And so I had one person came up to me and they said, well, you're gonna be getting this raise, you should get a, somebody to teach you a little bit how to pronounce some words. And I, I told him, I said, don't you know if I want to speak Okay, I have enough money to pay for 20 teachers around me to deal with that problem. All right? I don't want to be, be that. I support education, but I don't want to be so much up here that you can't reach the massive majority of the people. L let me stay down to earth, all right? That I can relate to all people. And you know, sometimes we get so sophisticated. My mother said education, sometimes we call them educated fools, you know? <laughs> it doesn't go right with me, all right? And, 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 and so I heard the mayor speak last night about he had this young lady uh, who was the principal of the, of the public school. And somebody over here and somebody over there, the head of these places, I said, well, I think what you're missing at this, in my administration, you will have some of the educated, you have some of the in between, and you have some of them that haven't finished school like me. 
Because what happened, you get too many people up here, you miss everybody down here. All right? and, 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 and so that ain't what I'm about, all right? There's a lot of opportunities that people may have, and some, some be unfortunate that we don't have a chance to get to school for whatever reason. In my case, it was running away from, from, uh, from slavery to get my parents out of slavery. We were suggesting doing that. But there are some people that can't get an education that maybe they're hungry. Maybe they're uh, single parents. You know, maybe they didn't have the opportunity. But we should not condemn them. That's right. You know? So, so I'm sensitive to that. I'm sensitive to the school, like in certain areas in Chicago, you have schools over here that talking about books. Well, I say destroy all the book and get the computer for our kids. You know, technology so that when they read, they can study those computer, you're not behind the scene. Right. You know, technology is changing so, so quick the world. Right. So we gotta get up to speed. But so I say, look, let's put the book on the shelf. Let's bring out the computer, the latest technology that they can relate around the world to everybody. And our kids can be just as good as anybody else, all right? <clears throat> so I, I, I come today with those things as well. The other thing that's concerning me, and I'll be a little bit brief, because I know you may have some questions you want to ask me, and I'm going to just ask them plain on out of the box, right? <laughs> because I don't want to give you something, say, for to get your vote if you're not honest, you know? Vote for me if you believe in me. Don't vote for me if you don't believe in me. Keep the same guy, you got, got all this education, but having somebody get him $30 million and sold this city down the drain. Keep him, all right? <clears throat> there is a thing called, from where I'm from, called uh, integrity. When you, somebody give you $30 million, okay? Who do you think that you owe the city to. Okay. I would be too ashamed to even have somebody give me thirty million dollars. You know. Then if you came up and gave it to me, I'll turn around and give it to the churches in the community. All right? All right? All right? All right? So we done stole this stuff out for the city. Who would want anybody to be their mayor to the less than the top one percent? a half percent don't say yourself out, okay? Now, I'm in business. I believe in business, okay? I believe in business that has the philosophy that says equal opportunity for contracting job for all citizens of the city of Chicago, all right? <laughs> I, I, I believe in that, all right? So, so, so I would work hard to promote business atmosphere. Okay, when, when you raise taxes, and you all know, you all business people out here, a lot of you out here business people. When you raise taxes on business, you, you pass that down to the consumer. It's too much of a heavy weight on the consumer. So what you do? You, you know, you run them out of the city, you run a major corporation from the city, you know, you got to lower those taxes to keep the citizen in the city, may they become more and more consumer based. Yeah, okay, so you gotta promote that. You just can't raise all these taxes and run jobs out of this city, okay? We have to change our way of, of thinking. I am the only business person since the last 100 some years almost, I think that was Mayor Ogden, uh, was the uh, last business person in the city of Chicago. These other guys, they don't have the experience of getting anything done unless it was you all money and our money. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's their experience, you know. You have someone here that, look, I know how to balance budget. I have to, I have to survive. Okay, my business goes the wrong way. I gotta get it out of that and get it out the right way. But those are my dollars, all right. But these other guys talking all these different language and things of that nature, they ain't been in no business. They spending you all money, my money, all right. <laughs> And, 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 run, and then giving it to their friends, you know, right? Listen, I don't want a penny from the, from the citizens of Chicago. No more, I will accept a paycheck, but I'm gonna give it away to the churches in the community, all right? I can promise you that, all right? 
so you basically have me free of charge. Okay? All right? All right? That is pretty much the bottom line. Free of charge that you have me. Okay? All right. Now, a few things that, that I want to get on here on with, with this public safety thing. And I, I've been very public about it. Superintendent police got to go. You know? Yeah. Okay? He, he have got to go. All right? He have not done a good job. And the other thing, why would you bring a superintendent of police, don't know nothing about the city from out of town, to come in Chicago, hire your people in your own city, all right? <laughs> yeah, this, this, this don't make sense, right? And, and plus, all the killing that then went on, the mayor is still endorsing them. You know, ain't, ain't there nothing about it, okay? And also, so I would, I would hire four superintendent of police, break it up in district. All right? Get them out of the cars so they can walk the street, ride the subway, the L's, and things of that nature along with us, and we got to walk the street. I like that. Okay? Make everybody more comfortable. Become the friendly police officer. That, that's what we would do. I would take then integrate the police department. Right now, you got 950 some officer in terms of sergeant rank. Supposed to be represented by 32% of African American, you got less than 10% in there, okay? Lieutenant in homicide, you got pretty much like zero almost, all right? Okay, I mean, you, you can't have a police force uh, that is segregated, everybody up top, and then you're gonna come into the community that you haven't been in that don't even understand how we relate and how we talk, okay? You gotta integrate the police Department, right? We're not. I'm not living yet downtown, down in Louisiana, down south no more. And y'all ain't either here, all right? <laughs> right? <clears throat> it, it's the wrong mentality, all right? That's right. Right? Now, I, I just speak from, from 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 the heart. Obviously, the police cars. They stop me. I get I get nervous. Okay. I, I get nervous, right? Yeah, and now since I'm talking about them, I'm even getting more nervous, all right? <laughs> <clears throat> so I have to look behind me now everywhere I move. My, my, my driver tells me when he's driving, I have to slow down now, all right? <laughs> you don't want to be caught with me in the car with you with these police officers, all right? <clears throat> all right? So I tell him, slow down, let me out, I'll walk, all right? <laughs> But, 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 but listen, we are in, 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 in look, look, in a, in a new era, yeah. all right? Yeah. And, and we're put here to do good and help people, all right? Yeah. And, 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 and so the other thing I, I look at, so when you put the police off and make them more friendly, integrate the police department and take and have some people like us, some other people not looking like us, et cetera, et cetera, and we all should come together and learn one another ways yeah. that we can get along better, yeah. all right? Yeah, that's what we should have. And, and let me say this too, and, and some of the ministers, y'all know what I'm talking about when I say this. You know, some of our African American ministers have been, been, been bought and sold. All right? Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And they come in like Nicodemus to me now, you know, by night, all right? <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about you too, all right? All right. And, 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 and our African American uh, uh, aldermen, it is a, it is, it is black history, it's a low down, scandal change, unfortunately, that all of them vote pretty much 100% with Mayor Emanuel. Yeah. Scandal. Yeah. It don't make no sense. Yeah. No, I ain't uh, <clears throat> To the white is here, I'm gonna let you know I ain't prejudiced, all right? <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I'm gonna just call it like it is, all right? You know, being sold out. Sold out. You know. And so it's very unfortunate that this time of era, this time of year, you know, that we have to sell ourselves out. That's right. You know. And mind you too, they, they listen, I'm 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 my birth certificate said color. That was my birth certificate color. So these days, I don't know what I'm on. Color, black, Negro, African American. I just tell them all of them, all right? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> but the thing about it, this much here, 
is that we must not look again at the color of the skin. Okay? And let me also talk about this year, too, this, this union situation, all right? Talk about it. Man, listen, the union indoors, and I know Chicago is a union town, okay? But Chicago also is, 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 is God town, all right? When, when, listen, I got no problem with, with, with union per se, no organization per se, but you should have an equal opportunity for contracts and jobs, okay? All right? If you go into certain areas, and you go into African American or, or the Hispanic or minority community, we, we got all those heavy machinery, all white. Today, we, we got a bid for contract for the state or the city or the county. When we got to put us, group us in all minority, what we're what we doing here, I ain't got nothing again white female, but look, a lot of the husband is putting them in that position and they call a minority and say that we, we meet our quotas. That is unwrong. That, that is totally unfair. You know? Do what it takes to reflect the population of all citizens. Right? And at that point in time, we're going to be able to all get along. Okay? Yeah. Now, now, this year, too, is that, like, listen. If you bring economic empowerment within to each community that deserve it, you're going to have less poverty, less crime, okay? You're going to have more people to spend more dollars into our businesses, right? This is the kind of thing that I want to do. And I told somebody the other day, y'all know my stand on Magfield? Open up Magfield. Like the airport, somebody cut the runway up overnight. I don't know the name, but that's <laughs> mayor, all right? But, but it was doing like $200 million when it happened. But just think about the $200 million that the citizens of Chicago could get the contracts and the job. Now they said, some, I, I know somebody told me about their friends at the park, and I haven't met none of them. Some of y'all could be here today, but you know. All right. But Friends of the Park is a friends of looking at something like the drags and things like that. But when I look into different communities, I, I see people who's hungry. You know, I, I see people can't pay real estate taxes. Okay? So I say get rid of that little park space, let them come back in here, get them job and contracts. All right? I, I say this too. <clears throat> I talk about the casino. Y'all know I went out there one night, and, and listen, I don't gamble no more, all right? But I was out there for some other reason, all right? <clears throat> but I'm gonna tell you what, I went out there to see the temptation. And I saw some of you all here now. <laughs> what is going on with these casinos making all this money? Open Hammond, Indiana, and Joliet, you go out there, those Chicago stickers out there, all right? But where is the job and the contract stand? They're not coming to Chicago. Take that 500 million or 800 million, put it into job and contract to our citizen, okay? Create jobs, okay? And then you won't build no more hotel because let the casino comes in, fly in, the casino is there, all right? The people spend money in the hotels, in the restaurants generating dollars for, for, for the business that we already have. You know, that's how you, you do it. Lower these taxes so people ain't got to go outside of Chicago and take the job there to buy gasoline and, and, and things of that nature, all right? Lower them babies, you know, them taxes down, 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 all right? All right? And plus, you don't need to be putting taxes on the citizen back. You know, how much you going to tax me? Where are you going to tax me out of here, you know? Right? So these things we have to change. Look, listen, I'm pro-business 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm pro-community for jobs, uh, economic growth, economic development. That's how this thing works. You've got to have business to create jobs. That's right. All right? You don't have business to run them away, you lose a job. That's right. This is what we have to do, you know? But you don't take then sell out the city of Chicago. Mr. Mayor, it is not for sale. Yeah. 
So this is a more issue here yes, that, 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 that we face with. So right. sell us to it like this here. It, 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 it's not right, okay? And if I'm, I'm running to help change things, all right? And, and, and to take and make sure that every citizen have an opportunity to the American dream like I have had. You, you know, I, 20 cent problem, mop floors, McDonald's, pick cotton, okay? Today, got a company, international company that does from 20 cents per hour to roughly about $60 million a year in sales. And I did it with these hands. All right. All right. All right. With these hands. Okay. Let me tell you what. I know I am the American dream. Okay. Right. This I know. All right. That's what we want. We don't need to be talking about minimum wage at three months before you go and get ready to get reelected. You know, should have started it four years ago. We don't need to be talking about we doing job with what you call what do you call it, a red line or a green line, whatever you calling it. You should have started that four years ago. You know, and have the nerve to have people of color in his uh, commercial, and he took them voted. 128 times when he was a congressman against the Black Caucus. Yeah, he didn't figure I had enough sense to go back and pull that, but I have it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have it. I have it. I have it in my pocket. I, I intended to bring it up tonight on the debate if they give me a chance to, all right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't changed, like Tom Todd said, what he said, uh, uh, old, old uh, uh, snake and new skin, you know? You know? Yeah. So, so at 128 times he voted against the Black Caucus here, and I ain't trying to coat out, get our vote. He voted against aid for Africa. He voted against education, against African American. He voted against health care, you know? And he called the African American, uh, uh, Black Caucus, that is, uh, he called it black cock. He used the F word. Then right. he had no nerve to come along and, 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 and the school board president, Carol Lewis, and gave her the B word. No, no. It ain't right. It ain't right no matter who you are, what color you are. That's right. You know? It's a total, it, it just disrespectful, yes, you know. Yes. If anybody got a right to call anybody some name for, for white and black, it should be me for what I came through, <laughs> right? But I respect every human being, yes, right. you know. I'm not going to get in this stuff, you know, and I'm not going to lie to you, you know. And I ain't going to be out here trying to get the union to support me if you ain't doing right by the people of the city of Chicago, you, you know. And that's why I use my own money so nobody can say I'm bought. All right, all right. You know. <clears throat> yeah. So I, 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 as I get ready to close, I know you all might have a, a question you have to maybe ask me, but I, I'm going to be myself if you see me on TV or you see me here, whatever it may be. They asked me a question last night, and I messed around and said I gave the wrong answer to one of them, and I forgot what you call panhound. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what that word meant. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you what. I got to correct that, y'all spread the word. All right. <clears throat> then I don't pass nobody up on the street if, unless another car coming and running a red light or something. And, and, and I don't want to get a ticket with these cameras, you know? Right. <clears throat> but I give away around about three or $400,000 a year to people on the street. You know, out, out of my pocket. I, I don't pass them up. Because guess what? It could be me tomorrow. I don't know why you're out there. It ain't for me to question it. But I, I give it to them. And I got to correct that tonight. <clears throat> you know, because I said, where it went out there, I, that's not me. Everybody know me. I mean, it, it was that the guy, sometimes them guys will be asking questions. Do I answer this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, 
but I'm gonna get a hold of it tonight, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, 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 so that, that's where I, 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 I come from, you know? And one last thing, you know, I, I have to say this here, and I, I, I'm, I'm really, you all know in terms of from the community, particularly African-American minority, but some of the, <clears throat> some of the white people here today may not know this, and I'm gonna talk to you just for, on this one here, because you may not know this. When you close 50 schools, and you talk about education, and I'm talking to the white right now, okay? Because you all already know this. The mayor said that I closed 50 schools because of the education, okay? Well, education don't mean a thing if you send our kid to gain territory and they lose a life. Okay? Y'all hear me? I mean, the white people, y'all hear me, right? All right, all right. You know, so he doesn't get it. If you close a 50 school because of education, not realizing that, hey, if I'm a parent, I'm at home, but my kid got to walk through gang territory and make it shot right. and killed. Yes, sir. Yeah. I can't rest no more. What about my kid if, 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 if they meant to ill? What about I don't even have enough money to get out of five block radio and never been downtown Chicago? That's right. That's right. What about the fear of the unknown got to meet new people? You know, new parents got to meet together. Man, all right. you see, so when I, when I turned last night, when I touched him here, and I said, man, you really understand what you're saying here? <laughs> you know? So, so, so you got to understand it's more than just about education. You can't make a decision just about that. Then he said that, well, I have enough faith and confidence, and, and uh, I guess the president of the school. Well, she may be too educated, all right? <laughs> to understand what's going on, Marvin Gaye, to say, okay? Right. You won't put, sometime we know, and I'm, I'm stop talking to white people now, I'm back talking to everybody now, all right? <laughs> all right. Talk to everybody now, all right. <laughs> so I want to make that point to you, that when you talk about education, it ain't education alone that fear us, that we fear. You know, I lost a kid, so I know what it is. 20 year old to drug, shot right through the head. 20 year old. So I know the fear, but yet you can never destroy the hurt if you lose a kid. There is nothing on earth that you can destroy no more hurt to. All right. All right. So, so the old fear goes through you and make a, make a parent shake. All right. So, so, so I wanted just to, to pass that on for education wise. Um, they don't give me much time when I'm on the set, they cut me off so quickly, you know. But I think I'm going to start talking fast tonight. Just keep on talking, all right? <laughs> so I can get some points in some kind of way, all right? All right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, um, I'm going to get close. And, um, and, and before I take any question, if I, if I might, Mr. Chairman, would you allow me to do a prayer? You got the podium, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. He's a nice man. I saw him last night for the first time in person, all right? <laughs> He's a nice man, all right? He was nice to me. He was nice to me last night, all right? All right. And I think it's fitting that I said because I'm running for mayor and you never know what happened out here these days, you know? And then I'll take a question. And the guy last night was trying to make us do something quick. I respect him. I just said, surely good and mercy should follow me all the days of my life. And I said, well, now to the Lord forever, all right? But I had to get that in, all right? But I want to say this prayer, and then I'll take some questions. If not, then I'll run around that room over there, and the media will have some questions for me. We'll do it that way. And then I'll go home and pray for the night, you know. But anyway, bow here. Uh, dear Lord, we thank you for God and us, Lord, Lord, and we thank you for being who you are. And we thank you, dear Lord, because you made us, us all. And, and you made our mind. You made our soul. And you made our heart, oh, Lord. And dear Lord, you made us all the same. Yes. And we ask you, dear Lord, to teach us to number our days so when thou call us up that we'll be prepared. Right. We ask you to give us the, uh, the strength to love even our, uh, even our enemy, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. We ask you, dear Lord, to, to bless all the people who made this happen today for each board member and for each good person who has a good heart on this board, dear Lord. Yeah. And we ask all those that come here today to look inside our heart 
And if we've done anything that might not have been right or wrong, we ask you to change our heart the way you want to change yeah. us. And under the Lord, we want to thank you for the food that you allow us to have to eat today. And dear Lord, when we get home this evening and we get ready to pray, let us not forget to say thank you for the food that we'll eat this evening. And dear Lord, that we kneel tonight to really get in our bed, we ask you to put your angel around us and guide us and watch over as we sleep and slumber through the night with unseen danger. And we know that you put your angel around us, dear Lord, that we'll wake up in the morning. And speak of your word, dear Lord. And we thank you. And now drive us home, dear Lord, that we get in our cars. And let us not forget that we didn't drive ourselves home, but you drove us home, oh Lord. And we thank you. And the blessing that we ask in your son, Jesus' name, for his sake, the one who said that not my will, O oh Lord, but thine will be done. Even Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, let church say amen. amen. All right, I'm done, y'all. Thank you. What do you think you're going to get away that easy? <laughs>
and, and we, we verify that. I think we uh, got a good relationship. Uh, and I agree with uh, uh, some of his views that he have. That don't mean I agree with all the views, you know, but so far we got a good relationship that we have, and I think we could have a lot in common. I think we can get a lot of things done together. Uh, now, I voted a um, uh, majority of my time I've been a Democrat, uh, but to me today, it ain't about Democrat or Republican. It's who you help. It's where your heart comes from. Yes, I can work with the governor. I feel very confident of that. All right. He calls him Bruce. Huh? <laughs> At the city club, you don't get by with a line like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Bruce. Okay. We got two more. We have one from Ms. Bland. Uh, what plans would you put in place to increase minority hiring in the construction trades? The first thing in terms of uh, minority hiring and construction, the biggest thing is that in construction hiring, you, you, you have to ordinarily deal with this union issue because they construction, that, that's, those guys hold the jobs. You have to make sure that we have equal opportunity um, employment for contracting job. And I want to call out the union members to, uh, uh, to not respect the endorsement of, of, of this mayor in terms of the union. But I would fight for them making sure that if we're going to do business with the city of Chicago, that that clause introduced into city council by legislation that contracting job must reflect all citizens proportionally for the city of Chicago and doing business with. That's how we would do it. So you empower the community with job and contract. That way, we don't need this minimum wage. We go way far beyond that. Yep. Okay. Uh, last question. This is from Betty. Uh, Betty, I'm just going to shorten it. Um, and the question basically deals with white policemen uh, racial profiling young black men. I think I know how you're going, but answer the question. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm African American, okay, as y'all can see, all right? <laughs> That's an issue you have to take and integrate uh, police force. I look at the numbers. The other day, I held a press conference. It was way out of proportion, OK? Listen, just because you, 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 you're white don't mean that you can't learn different neighborhood. Or if you're you black, I mean you can't learn different neighborhood. We got an institute program that before you become a police officer, OK, we must go to these programs in the field that you can work together with integrated force and make these things happen. And, and once we begin to do that, we learn more about the neighborhood. Like, I can, if I come in your neighborhood, I, I don't know some of the things that you may be doing. I go to China, I don't understand the culture there, all right? But if you get me there, I learn for a while, then I become integrated and I can learn a lot better. Last on that piece there is that our kid recycled herself to prison and out of prison. Why not do this? Why not put trade in the prison? So when a kid come to prison, they got a trade, they can go in business, or they got a job. That'll stop some of the killing out here, all right? And then we began to work together on that. But we would integrate the police force, we would work with them, we would also have the four superintendent police that reflect the neighborhood so that we can get along together, all right? God bless y'all, God bless America, God bless Chicago. Round of applause, we got a present for you. Don't, don't move away, don't move away.